Our family recently had the incredible opportunity to sail on the Icon of the Seas for its inaugural sailing. And let me tell you, the food scene on this ship is something else. I tried almost every dining option. So go grab a snack, settle in, and let's chat about all the delicious spots you can find on board Icon of the Seas. I'm going to start with the included dining options, and first up is Aquadome Market. If you're ready for a foodie adventure, Aquadome Market has a mix of food stalls with flavors from all over the world. You can start your day with fresh crepes from Creme de la Crepe, enjoy a hearty lunch with options like Asian stir fry at Ginger, a create your own pita at Feta, some pretty wild mac and cheese combos at Max, or a hearty sandwich at Toast and Garden. Aquadome Market is perfect for when you got a taste for a little bit of everything and you want it all quickly. Next up is Pearl Cafe. If you need a quick coffee or a snack, Pearl Cafe is your spot. Pastries, sandwiches, and your favorite coffee drinks are all there to keep you fueled. Pearl Cafe is open 24 hours a day and you have access to these delicious snacks all night long. Plus, you get an incredible view of the pearl from this cafe, which is Icon's beautiful statement piece. Next up is Surfside Bites. If you're hanging out on the Surfside area or chilling by the water and need a quick bite, Surfside Bites has got you covered. Think tasty snacks, perfect for munching while soaking up the sun. If you want a little something more than what Surfside Bites offers, but you're still looking for a laid back meal, head over to Surfside Eatery instead. They've got a great mix of comfort foods and international dishes in a super relaxed setting. I loved that they had so many healthy options available and it really was a great mix of adult options like steak, shrimp, and a salad bar, along with some kid friendly options such as chicken fingers and hot dogs. The next included option on the Icon of the Seas is located in one of my favorite areas of the ship, y'all. Park Cafe is nestled in the serene Central Park and offers fresh salads, made-to-order sandwiches, and delightful pastries. I really loved that they had the bagel bar in the mornings. I got a bagel with smoked salmon, which I enjoyed from our Central Park balcony. Next up is a traditional cruise dining option, the main dining room. In the main dining room, you can enjoy a diverse menu of delicious dishes prepared by talented chefs, plated and served course by course. It's a great option if you want a plated breakfast, lunch, or dinner. We went to the main dining room for dinner several times and thoroughly enjoyed our meals each time. The service was great, and we had two formal nights for our seven-day cruise, and we were served lobster on each of those formal nights. Now, y'all know how excited I was to get two lobster nights on this cruise. <laughs> now we cannot forget this staple Royal Caribbean food option, Sorrento's. Listen, if you're a pizza lover like my husband Ray, Sorrento's is your destination for delicious pizza. It always seems to be hot and fresh, probably because it's such a popular item, especially late at night. The one thing I did miss on this ship, though, is the various salads that Sorrento serves on other Royal Caribbean ships. They didn't have those on Icon, but that's OK. I mean, it just meant more room for pizza. If you're in the mood for tacos or a bowl of nachos, El Loco Fresh is your option for a little bit of Tex-Mex flair. You can build your own tacos, burritos, and enjoy a fresh salsa and guacamole at the toppings bar. While El Loco Fresh isn't my favorite option for Mexican food on ships, it'll definitely satisfy that taco craving, and it's a great option for something quick and next to the pool. For a buffet experience like no other, head over to the Windjammer. With a vast array of international cuisines and classic favorites, it's perfect for any meal of the day. We especially love the made-to-order bars that have been incorporated, like Create Your Own Stir Fry and the Egg and Omelet Station. Those are some of my favorites. Now, if you're a sweet guest on board the Icon of the Seas, you can enjoy exclusive dining at The Grove. They offer a buffet-style menu of Mediterranean dishes for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I can't tell you a whole lot about this area because we weren't sweet guests. I mean... We paid enough for a regular cabin on this cruise. But anyway, Coastal Kitchen is another exclusive option for sweet guests. Coastal Kitchen combines Mediterranean flavors with fresh seasonal ingredients for a truly exceptional dining experience. While we didn't get to try Coastal Kitchen on Icon of the Seas, we did try it on the Allure of the Seas, and it ended up being one of our favorite dining experiences on that ship. 
cool down with a sweet treat from Sprinkles, offering a variety of ice cream flavors and toppings to satisfy your sweet tooth. It's a perfect spot for kids and adults alike to enjoy a refreshing dessert. Now that covers all of the included food options on board the Icon of the Seas. Next, we're going to talk about the paid options. But before we do that, let me invite you to subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps us so much. Click that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up as well if you're enjoying the video. If you're looking for a little something more like exclusive behind the scenes footage, early access to new videos, or firsthand knowledge of all of our travel plans, click that join button down below to check out our options for channel membership. Now let's get back to the video. Before we get into the Before truly into specialty paid dining options, there's a spot on board that I feel like kind of falls in between. And that is Base Camp. Base Camp features a unique menu with dishes that are as exciting as they are delicious. I love their chicken and waffle bites. Those are an extra cross, but Base Camp does have a few menu items that are included with your cruise fare. And that's why I consider them an in-between dining spot. Sushi lovers, Azumi is your go-to spot for fresh and flavorful sushi, sashimi, and other Japanese delights. Enjoy the artistry of Japanese cuisine with beautifully presented dishes and a relaxed atmosphere. And if you want to enjoy your favorite Japanese dishes amidst the serene surroundings of Central Park, check out Azumi in the Park. It's a unique dining experience combining delicious food with a peaceful, natural setting with the convenience of a quick service window. And we all know Central Park is a great place for people watching. <laughs> For steak lovers, Chops Grill offers premium cuts cooked to perfection along with delicious sides and impeccable service. It's a classic American steakhouse experience with a modern twist. We didn't eat at Chops on this cruise because we have tried it on other Royal Caribbean ships. And while we felt that the apps and sides were just okay, I was thoroughly impressed with the quality, taste, and cook on the steak that I had at Chops on previous ships. You can indulge in Italian favorites at Giovanni's Italian Kitchen and Wine Bar where you can enjoy homemade pasta, wood fire pizzas, and a curated selection of wines. It's a cozy spot perfect for a romantic dinner or a casual meal with friends. We had dinner there one night of our cruise and I absolutely loved the calamari. Ray really enjoyed the chicken parmesan and RJ was a huge fan of this dessert. Now, where my seafood lovers at? Come here, come here. Now, you know I could not get on this ship and not go to Hook Seafood. I had to do it, y'all. Hook serves up fresh, mouth-watering seafood dishes that are sure to impress. From lobster rolls to fresh oysters, it's a seafood lover's dream. This was our favorite specialty dining spot on board. And honestly, it was probably one of, if not, our absolute favorite food spot overall. It was absolutely delicious 10 out of 10 and even though i've had it on other ships i really felt like icons hook seafood was much better and i loved the view of aquadome from the restaurant for a more casual dining experience with coastal cuisine check out pier 7 it's located in the surfside area from fresh seafood to classic seafood bites it's a taste of the shore on the high seas perfect for a laid-back meal with stunning ocean views. While the food was good, it really didn't give me that specialty dining kind of feel that I expected for a restaurant that comes with an upcharge, but we were not disappointed with the taste of the food at all. Now, if you're wanting to catch a game and enjoy classic bar fare, head over to Playmaker Sports Bar. Wings, burgers, and a cold drink. What more can you ask for? It's the ultimate spot for sports fans to relax and enjoy some good food. Now, if you've got something to celebrate, the celebration table is perfect for special occasions with a multi-course menu that'll make any event memorable. It's an intimate dining experience with personalized service and gourmet dishes. Next up is Empire Supper Club. You can step into a world of elegance at Empire Supper Club, where classic dishes are elevated to new heights in a sophisticated setting. Think premium steaks, fresh seafood, and a selection of wines. Next on our list actually isn't a food spot, but a drink spot. But listen, it's definitely worth mentioning. At the Lemon Post, you can refresh yourself with a variety of citrus-inspired drinks. It's a zesty twist on your usual refreshment experience with some of the prettiest cocktails for adults and cute and delicious mocktails for kids or for adults that just want an alcohol-free refreshment. Got a sweet tooth? Deserted is your paradise with an array of delectable milkshakes that'll satisfy any craving. Every bite 
or sip, should I say, is a treat. Now, if you need your coffee fix on board, Starbucks has all of your favorite coffee drinks and snacks to keep you energized throughout your cruise. It's the same Starbucks experience that you love right on board the ship. Last but not least, dive into a world of sweets at Sugar Beach, featuring an array of candies, chocolates, and delightful treats, perfect for satisfying your sugar cravings. It's a candy lover's paradise with something for everyone. We also had the pleasure of taking a cupcake decorating class at Sprinkles, which was so much fun. Definitely recommend that for a fun activity with the littles. Well, my friends, that wraps up our culinary tour of the Icon of the Seas. From complimentary delights to specialty dining experiences, there's something to satisfy every craving. Moral of this story, you will not go hungry on this ship. (laughs) Drop a comment below and let us know which of these food spots you're most likely to try on board. And until next time, Team Reese all day.